Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M. Now listen up and repeat after me. Susie sells seashells down by the seashore. Got it? Ready and go. Yeah, all right, pretty good, but let's try another. Peter Piper packed his pants with pickled peppers, go. Not bad, but it could be better. And so today we're gonna go over three specific things that we can do to improve our speaking skills. Because being well-spoken is a critical aspect of being an effective communicator. Tip number one is all about the filler word. We're gonna figure out what it is, if you use it, and how to correct it. So I was um taking off my um man thong and um Um uh and I was like, oh my god, and you were like, oh my god, he has a wife? Like Yo, dog, I'm so pissed right now. You'll never believe what happened. I was over there ordering the delicious ass McRib sandwich, you know what I'm saying? And they forgot the mother freaking pickle, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I do know what you're saying. That the McRib sandwich is a culinary mystery meat that needs pickle to enhance its deliciousness. I also know that using filler words makes you sound unconfident, unsure of yourself, unprofessional, and dare I say, dumb as a stump. So what about you? Do you use filler words? And if so, what is it? If you're not sure, ask your friends or family, because if you don't know, I'm sure they will. Because that's exactly how I found out that I use the word um all the time. Tracy one day, about six years ago, came up to me and was like, you say um all the time. I was like, I do? I told her to start pointing it out. Every time she noticed or heard me use the word um, she would say, um. And that was my cue to start paying attention, but something remarkable happened. After a little while of being ultra aware of myself, I would actually start correcting myself. When I'd say, um, I'd be like, uh, um, and it was really awkward and uncomfortable when I was having a conversation with somebody else. And eventually I stopped. It took hard work being hyper aware of what you're saying and a little bit paranoid, but eventually I kicked it. And so can you. And a great tip I would give to you is when you're talking and you feel it coming on, just Pause and pick up where you left off and eventually you will be able to kick the filler word habit. The second and third tip kind of go hand in hand so we're going to deal with them together. Two other key elements to consider when analyzing your verbal virility is the speed and the clarity in which you speak. Speaking too fast, speaking too slow, or mumbling are surefire ways to lose respect and credibility. And if you're saying to yourself, whatever Alvy, you don't even know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, Mumbles? Well, let's do a little experiment and you judge for yourself. I can see your point, but I'm going to respectfully disagree. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. slow down, jockey. There's no race. You're not going to win anything. There's no prize. <gasps> but not too slow, or you'll sound like you need protective headgear. Hey, Alpha. And if you mumble when you speak, you might sound like this. I can see your point, but I'm going to respectfully disagree. And unless you're drunk, you've got no excuse. Check it out. I can see your point, but I'm going to respectfully disagree. Your ability to speak and deliver your message clearly and concisely is a critical part of the effective communication equation. By identifying where you're weak or lacking and making a conscious decision and effort to work on your dialect deficiencies is going to ultimately pay off for you big time, brother. So until next time, gentlemen, I want you to slow down, but not too slow or else you're going to sound like you need to ride the short bus. Am I allowed to say that? Enunciate, gentlemen. Don't worry about what your friends are saying. If they're using a specific flow for flow, flow, get the marbles out of your mouth, mumbles. I want you to enunciate. Slow down every syllable in the specific word. You need to pronounce it. And don't worry about what your friends are doing. Don't worry if they're like, yo, what are you talking all prim? Be like, yo, I'm trying to do something with my life. And you won't be taken seriously if you're mumbling, if you're using all these filler words, and if you're talking too fast like I'm doing right now. Gentlemen, I want the best for you. So go out and get it. Peter Pecker, pa Peter Pecker, pa Peter, pa Peter Pecker. What the? Peter Piper packs a pickled pecker. <laughs> Susie sells? Susie sells? Susie sells seashell. See? See shit. Piper's pants are packed with a particularly puny pickled pecker. Pickled pecker. Really? Pickled pepper.